Right, the 21st of January 2019 15 hours 48 minutes and 30 seconds update, the 21st of January 2019 16 hours 46 minutes and 26 seconds anchor, after meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's envoy, U.S. President Donald Trump issued upbeat expectations for his second summit with Kim, expected to be held next month. Washington and Pyongyang are believed to have discussed freezing the North's nuclear fuel and weapons production during the negotiations. Kim Thumb Su has more. Report, the White House is upbeat about the second Washington-Pyongyang summit set to be held next month, U.S. President Donald Trump said on Twitter Sunday he's looking forward to meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the end of February. Trump tweeted that he had great meetings with top North Korean representatives in Washington last week. He earlier told reporters, a lot of progress has been made. A White House official revealed President Trump received a letter from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un via his envoy Kim Yong-chul. Shortly after Trump's meeting with Kim, the New York Times said that Washington and Pyongyang had discussed freezing the North's nuclear fuel and weapons production during negotiations. Others more specifically suggested that the agenda of the second Washington-Pyongyang summit will focus on dismantling North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missiles, rather than comprehensive methods of denuclearization. Experts noted that these steps would make it easier for the U.S. to ease some of its sanctions placed on North Korea. Following that meeting Friday, the White House said the U.S. President will meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un for the second time in late February. Bloomberg reported that U.S. Government officials are making arrangements to hold a summit in Vietnam, quoting sources familiar with the matter on Sunday. The report said Hanoi is likely to serve as the venue but added that Da Nang, the site of the 2017 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Meeting, and Ho Chi Minh City in the country's south have also been discussed as possible venues. Kim Bumsu, KBS World Radio News, Photo, John Hap News.